You're in the pickle aisle, and there's Clausen in the refrigerated section. Then there's Vlasic on the shelf at room temperature. Both are pickles. Both look similar. But one costs twice as much and requires refrigeration, while the other sits on shelves for months without spoiling. Same vegetable, same brine. Completely different manufacturing that creates completely different products. One alive, one dead. How can two jars of pickles require opposite storage conditions? Let's explore the process. Here's what most people don't realize. Pickles aren't a single product. They're two completely different processes producing similar results. Fermentation versus vinegar preservation. One takes weeks or months and creates living bacteria. The other takes 24 hours and kills everything. You've eaten both without knowing which was which. The difference isn't just taste. It's biology versus chemistry. Traditional fermented pickles start with cucumbers and salt water. That's it. No vinegar. The brine is 3 to 5% salt, enough to create environment where good bacteria survive and bad bacteria die. Cucumbers go into barrels filled with this brine, then you wait. Three weeks minimum. Often six weeks, sometimes three months for full sour pickles. You've seen those big deli barrels with pickles floating in cloudy brine. That cloudiness is bacteria. Living lactobacillus creating lactic acid, the same process making yogurt tangy. During fermentation, bacteria eat cucumber sugars. This produces lactic acid, carbon dioxide, and hundreds of flavor compounds. The acid drops pH below 4.6, preserving the cucumber naturally. No heat, no vinegar. The bacteria do all the work. This is why fermented pickles taste complex. Sour but not harsh, with depth you can't describe. That's bacterial fermentation, creating flavors that don't exist in the original cucumber. You've tasted this if you've had a real deli pickle or Clausen. That particular tang and slight fizz when you bite, carbon dioxide from active fermentation. Clausen uses this method, but stops fermentation part way. They ferment for about three weeks, then refrigerate to slow bacteria without killing them. This is why Clausen must stay refrigerated. The bacteria are dormant but alive. Leave them at room temperature and fermentation restarts, creating too much carbonation and bursting the jar. You're buying living pickles that are still fermenting, just extremely slowly at cold temperatures. But here's the kicker. Most pickles skip fermentation entirely. Vlasic, Mented Olive, most store brands use vinegar method. Fresh cucumbers go straight into hot vinegar brine. The mixture is 50% water, 50% vinegar with salt and spices. This brine gets heated to 180 degrees, poured over cucumbers, sealed in jars. The heat pasteurizes everything, kills all bacteria. These pickles are shelf-stable because nothing living remains. The entire process takes one day, sometimes hours. The vinegar creates acidity instantly without waiting for bacteria. It's efficient, consistent, cheaper. But vinegar pickles taste different from deli pickles. They hit with sharp vinegar punch, first, then cucumber. Fermented pickles taste like cucumber first, then complex sourness. That's the difference between added acid and created acid. Vinegar is acetic acid dumped in. Fermentation is lactic acid slowly developing inside the cucumber, penetrating every cell during weeks of bacterial work. And here's where the health angle emerges. Fermented pickles contain live probiotics, beneficial bacteria that survive digestion and reach your gut. Same bacteria in yogurt and kimchi. Each fermented pickle contains millions of lactobacillus bacteria. 
Vinegar pickles contain zero living bacteria because pasteurization killed everything. Heat plus acid creates sterile product. You've probably seen probiotic pickles marketed at higher prices. That's just fermented pickles doing what they've always done. The bacteria aren't added. They're the natural result of fermentation that wasn't killed by heat. This explains the pickle juice drinking trend. Athletes discovered fermented pickle brine stops muscle cramps faster than water or sports drinks. The theory was electrolytes and salt. But recent research suggests it's the acidity triggering nerve receptors in your mouth and throat, which somehow interrupts the cramping reflex in your muscles. Both fermented and vinegar pickle juice work because both are acidic. But fermented brine also delivers probiotics and has more complex mineral profile from bacterial activity breaking down cucumber cells. You've probably seen pickle juice sold separately in stores now. That's usually fermented brine, not vinegar brine, because fermented brine has the bacterial compounds athletes want. The refrigerator pickle question comes down to this. Refrigerated pickles are usually fermented or partially fermented, containing live bacteria that continue slowly developing flavor. Shelf-stable pickles are pasteurized and dead. No bacteria, no fermentation, no need for cold storage. Both are preserved and safe. Fermented pickles change slowly over time, becoming more sour as bacteria work. Vinegar pickles taste the same day one as day 300 because nothing's alive to change them. Most Americans grew up eating vinegar pickles and think that sharp, one-note sourness is what pickles should taste like. Then they try a real fermented pickle and realize they've been eating the shortcut version their whole lives. Both are pickles. One uses time and biology. The other uses heat and chemistry. Neither is wrong but they're solving completely different problems with completely different processes. You're not just choosing between Clausen and Vlasic anymore. You're choosing between biology and chemistry. Three weeks of bacterial transformation or 24 hours of vinegar shortcut. Living food that keeps evolving in your fridge or sterile food frozen in time. Millions of probiotics still working or zero bacteria surviving pasteurization. One costs more because time is expensive. One costs less because vinegar is cheap. Both are real pickles. Different trade-offs. So which one's sitting in your fridge right now?